There will be times when you can't find exactly what you want in the gallery, but luckily Notebook makes it easy to import content from elsewhere into your lesson. In this example, I have found an image on a website that is exactly what I'm looking for. Let's look at how we get this image into the Notebook file. The first method for importing the image is to save the file to my computer. So I can right click on the image and choose save image as. Now I need to put it somewhere where I can easily find it. So I'm going to add it to my desktop. Once the file is saved, I can come back into notebook and choose insert. And this time I'm going to choose picture file. I then browse back to my desktop and locate the file I just saved and choose open and the image appears within the notebook page. I can resize it and position it exactly how I want. If you find an image that's really useful, remember that you can always add it to the My Content section of the gallery. Select the gallery tab and make sure My Content is selected. Then simply drag the item over to add it. It will then be available to you whenever you open Notebook. An even quicker way to add an image from a web page to your notebook file is this. Make sure you have your browser open and the notebook page visible and then simply select the item and drag across. This may not work with all browsers so experiment with your particular setup. You can import sounds into your notebook file in the same way as you did images. In this example I found a royalty free site with sound effects and I want to play this campfire effect on my notebook page. So I can simply download the file. Once you have downloaded your sound clip, go to insert and this time choose sound. Then click on browse and find the location you saved it to. If you then click attach sound, it will appear on your notebook page and you can play the sound file. There will be another video about sound clips going into much more detail.